Richard Water Board Corruption Investigation. The DA's office announcing indictments today and two new defendants. First, the two new people with Water Board ties facing charges. Randy Burden, the former Public Service Supervisor, and Teresa Lewis, the system's current Physical Operations Manager, now facing charges. The grand jury also indicting previously charged Nia Bradley and her husband, Anthony Bradley. Our investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby, is live to break it all down. Brendan, this investigation is heating up. That's right, Lenise and Byron. Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich says the total amount of money embezzled is into the millions of dollars, and she says that it has contributed to the utility's financial problems. The investigation burst into public view in February with a raid of the Pritchard Waterworks and Sewer Board, followed by a search of Nia Bradley's house in West Mobile that turned up box after box of high-end consumer items, all allegedly charged to Bradley's Pritchard Water Board credit card. Now, former employee Randy DeWarick Burden and current employee Teresa Lewis face charges similar to Bradley. The DA is saying they repeatedly charged personal expenses to utility-issued credit cards. Bradley's husband, Anthony, is now accused of using her utility card to make his own unauthorized purchases. DA Rich says the embezzled funds have contributed to poor service, including recent revelations that the Water Board is considering cutting off service to Alabama Village. And I feel my heart bleeds for the citizens of Pritchard and what they're going through right now. Um, but it is, in my opinion, a direct result of this criminal ring. The only defendant who is a current employee, Teresa Lewis, was not at work Friday. Utility attorney Jay Ross said says board members will decide her future status soon. Nia Bradley's attorney reiterated his past contention that his client had permission from board members to charge personal expenses as part of her compensation. I mean, the contract says what the contract says. And so, I mean, at, at this point, I mean, that's, that's, that's where we are. It's just bonuses and language of that nature that authorize certain expenditures. Gordon Armstrong, who represents Anthony Bradley, says he's eager to learn more about what precisely prosecutors are alleging. If you recall from the preliminary hearing, I was very specific when I asked questions about whether there were any credit cards issued to him or in his name uh, that they were alleging, and they said no. The defendants will appear for arraignments in the next few weeks. Meanwhile, all eyes are now on the federal investigation, but no word on when or if those charges might be coming. Reporting live, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.